so Noe and I, we met when um, we were freshmen in high school. We had the same French class together. You know, we, we were classmates, we'd see each other around, but our relationship didn't really start until we were both in 11th grade. He asked me out on his birthday, so I, so I couldn't say no. And I still said no, and like, he was like, you're, you're kidding, no, like, what do you mean no? And, and then I, I told him, yes, I'm kidding, of course. So we, we started dating in December 17 of 2008, and he left to boot camp on June 17, 2009. I remember during our English class, he had a, a backpack, you know, with a Navy backpack that he had gotten from the recruiter's office. And he'd wear it, and, and you know, people would ask him, and he's like, yeah, I'm going to join as soon as I graduate high school. And he's like, I, I want to live with you. I want to marry you. Once we were together, I loved it. We we both loved to travel. My husband, he loved to travel. And so did I. But it was his first time on an actual ship that was out, going and coming. He loved it. He loved being at sea. He loved being with his shipmates. He, you know, he was an adventurer at heart. My husband was very proud to be on the fifth, and he was very proud of the ship and of the crew. I was actually living in Japan when the accident happened, so I was there the whole time. You know, I, I, I got messages from our spouse group where people were freaking out and they're like, is this happening? Is this true? What's going on? And, um, you know, um, I I went to the pier to wait for them to get home and I, I didn't move. And they asked if I wanted to go get some rest. And I, I told them I didn't, that I was not going to move from that pier unless they made me and did it by force until I had my, my, my husband or, or his body. Before I left Japan, I asked them if I could go down there to the birthing with my mother-in-law. I I didn't know what to expect. Um, it was so small, and that's all I can remember, just going down there and being like, it's, it's so small. And all I can think was like, so this is where my husband was, and this is where Rem was, and this is where Martin was, and this is where Douglas was, and, you know, this is where Shuin was, and this is where... Savayan was like I I remember looking at every spot and and I could see the report in my head and I knew this is where his rock was but this is where they found him and trying to piece everything together like what happened why did he go this way why did they find him here you know my my husband he was healthy and he was um he loved to work out so he was physically fit he he could run he could swim for miles he still didn't make it out and that, that was the biggest thing for me like what were his last moments like what did he do that he couldn't get out he had everything at that time and air He's very aware of everything, you know, he, I, I try not to um, make a negative impact in his life, you know, because it's going to shape him for later. And he remembers the flag on, on my husband's casket. So when he sees the flag, he immediately says, Papa. So that's become a symbol for him. He points at the flag. He's like, that's Papa. And that's when I made the connection. And I was like, well, no, baby, that's called the flag. But, you know, it it does, you know, I guess if you remember Papa when you see the flag, that's okay. But remember, Papa's with God, and he still loves us, and he watches over us. Um, and after that, just every time he sees the flag, he, he says, he's, you know, he's Papa. And then he'll say Papa with God.